And George is asking us a question about being a brother's keeper. Wants to know how are we to be our brother's keeper? Pastor Columbus. The scripture tells us to be our brother's keeper, first of all, and I believe in obedience. If we look into the book of Acts, it says that at one point in time, they sold everything to help the poor, to help those in need, that nobody would be uh, in need. And I believe that, you know, there's a lot of ways to help people, especially now in, in this day. You know, we, we can pray for people, and prayer is great, and we need to exercise our faith through prayer, and, and also in monetary giving. But, you know, there's times where uh, uh, just a, a, a few weeks ago we went down to the shelter and we, we helped, you know, and, and it's not a, a point of bragging or pride. It's just an exercise of faith. You know, faith without works is dead. Right. We need to go out in faith and help those in need. You know, we could pray for somebody that needs food, but we need to take food to them. So how do we become our brother? Uh, keepers, listen, uh, if you think about um, your natural brother or sister, you want to help them in every way, shape, and form. How about the person you don't know? How about your enemy? He says even to make friends of your enemy and, and not, not hold any unforgiveness. We, we've got a great deal to do. The church is called as part of the kingdom of God to be our brothers and sisters, keepers, in every way that we possibly can, that nobody would be with, without, and that uh, we would represent as, as Jesus giving and being the Provided. God's the provider, and he uses the source of the church to help those in need. That's marvelous. The Bible says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciple because you have this love that's on the inside of you, and you can't have the love of God on the inside of you unless you have the Spirit of Christ and the Spirit of the Holy Spirit inside of you. And so we're going to ask uh, Pastor Rich Hall to tell us how do you get the Spirit of Christ on the inside of you that will ultimately lead you to the love of God. The, uh, the Spirit of Christ is, uh, Jesus desires to have a relationship with us, but he desires to live in us. He desires to abide in us as he abides in the Father. He wants to come into our heart and he wants to take control Amen. of our heart. We all have the image of God in us. That image has been shattered by sin. Uh, you think of uh, the image of God as a mirror. It's been shattered and broken, and it no longer reflects the accurate image of God. But Hebrews tells us that Christ is that image. And if we put the image of Christ in us, again, he can restore that image of God in us. And, and that's what we talk about, having the spirit of Christ inside of us. And so how are we saved? Would you explain to our viewing audience before we uh, run out of time, how do you get saved? Well, we're saved by, by coming to a knowledge of the faith that's in us. Jesus said he can cover our sins. Our sins have made a separation between us and God. Jesus can cover those sins and he can renew that relationship with God, but we have to invite Christ in. We have to pray to him and say, Christ, come into my heart and take control of my life so that I can live the life that God wants me to and have my relationship restored with him. If you liked what you saw, make sure to like that video and comment below. Hit the subscribe button for more content uploaded weekly.